Hello everybody, Gemini Twin Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Farming Simulator 2022, and we are back once again, and today, um, as you might have seen right beneath our car here, um, or SUV as I should say, um, you might see paved roads, now, the county of, the county that is not named yet, um, you guys can name it down in the comments below. We'll pick the best one. Um, if not, we'll just name it random something. But anyways, we got um, paved roads. Um, and then we got a few special things. So um, right behind me is actually the most special thing. And let's actually go into the um, editor so that I can you can see it a little better. And this is Moo Speedway. So, um, this actually took a really long time to do, um, it's a race track, and we're actually gonna get into that right, uh-oh. Eggs now we hit escape. Okay, let's go back into our Suburban here. So basically, um, we actually put it in the here, um, and... Kind of funny, actually, we actually put the track on a, um curved hilly area um and so it actually turned out to be like a bank um if you don't know what a bank is um in race terms normally at like some of the corners they'll have like a little um, um bend or curved area um so that you can get around the corners faster so basically we've got like a little shed area where all the cars stay like So, if we go into here, we've got a few cars, we've got a monster truck, an Audi, um, R9, a Ferrari, um, Stradadale, a Porsche 911, and a Lamborghini, what type is that? I don't know, it doesn't say, I'm gonna assume it's gonna be on the back somewhere. Unlike most people, I've never really been into Lamborghinis, so, wait, event, oh, Adventure Inventor, does it say? No. Inventor J. So basically, we're just going to go around. Oh, yeah. And then we've also got the tree cutter here. We just parked it right there because originally, as you can see, we have all these oaks around. And we planned to have it all around the border. But then we ran out of slots for trees. Um, I thought they might have fixed that and you could put unlimited trees. But it's been that same thing since the first game we've ever played, which was FS15. Um, where, like, via mod, I think you could put down a few trees, and, um, I believe placing down trees was just a new thing in FS22. I can't recall if it was in 19. Um, we had a mod, I believe, so, yeah, I don't think it was in 19. 15, you can only plant trees via planter, um, and, um, so, you only have, like, a limit. I think you can only place 50 trees. I don't know the limit in 22, but let's stop talking about trees into the raceway. We've got the, um, like, viewer portion. We've got kind of, like, um, there are a bunch of deer over here since we have all these trees and they like to hang out. So, eventually you'll just see, like, deers in the track. So, We've got this, like, appliance shed. Walk over here. We've got, like, the stand area where they can watch the game. And then if we cross over here, um, the reason why we actually named it Moo Raceway was when I was trying to paint the um, start line. It didn't look that good. And I thought that it looked like a cow design, so we named it Moo Raceway. Um, over here, it just says Moo with an exclamation mark. You can't see that because I'm really high up. We've got some RVs here. Um, then we've got, like, the water and diesel and um, crusher washers for, like, your RVs. And then we've got electric um, stations so that you can, like, charge your EVs or whatever got a garage, some storage tanks, and then over this fence, I don't think I can jump it, I was just over here, I think I got up on the pressure washer, so, 
jump over here. Then we've got like the pit lane where it's got these little sheds. I believe only one's accessible. I believe it's this one. So basically how you get into it is you have to stand like this. Then you can open up the doors. And then from there you can go into the vehicle shop and customize it. Then shut it on your way out. And leave. So we've just got a few things. I'll actually have to refill these real quick. I assume there's more. I'm just gonna have to find them. Oh, there they are. Ah, this is... You know what, I'll get to it from there. So basically, it's mainly just like a time trial course. We have two RVs here. Nobody uses them. They're just there for decoration. Um, then we've got like the inside wall, which is supposed to be metal, not wood. It just looks the closest thing to metal. We've got the bank over there on corners three and four. And it wouldn't be any fun if we were to just, I don't know, play around with this. So let's actually race it. And now for the hard question, what are we going to drive? Lamborghini, Porsche, Ferrari, Audi, or monster truck. Uh, I think it's pretty self-explanatory and we're gonna go for the monster truck. Did I open up that door? Yes, I did. So I apologize, you know, this, it's hard to tell if the volume's gonna be loud for you guys, so on, if I think it's too loud, I apologize if it's getting quieter for you, but I'll just, like, Normally we have everything at 50, um, but when we're playing, because this map's kind of weird, normally we have like our own like personal maps, and then we have our YouTube maps, like on Elk Creek and stuff, but for this one, we play on it both at, like, whenever we feel like it, and then we also do it for YouTube. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and race around in our monster truck here because we are normal people, of course. It still has some touch-ups to do. Um, we are gonna get it eventually. Um, I'm just excited about spinning a monster truck around and there's something about it's fun. Okay. Oh, I forgot the most important. Uh oh. Okay, no, you stay there. Yeah, so basically it's a smaller track. Um, I actually don't know if the monster truck can get into the pit lane. We'll have to try that like on our second lap. So this is the banking area. So it just helps you go around like that third and fourth corner a little better. So now if we go on this side, we're gonna go into the pit lanes here, so. Oh yeah, I think we can fit it, so basically, it's not as quick as they do it in like NASCAR and in an Indy car and stuff, but say we park our monster truck right there, hop out real quick, and go into here. We can customize it, make it like fast or slow, change all of this stuff. So, that. Oh, and then, in case the cars get dirty, which chances are they might, because the game doesn't do a good job. So, okay, diesel, we can refuel it. And then we have pressure washers to clean them. So basically, that's the racetrack. Um, there's not much to it. Um, it took a long time to build, way longer than it looked. Um, so, yep, that's the racetrack. We're just going to go ahead and put this in the parking lot because I don't feel like putting it in the garage. We can just take up two lanes. It's fine. But that is not all, folks. Is the Tesla here? Yes, it is. So, um, the county also gave us one other thing, other than paved roads and a racetrack, um, 
So let's take a right here, I believe. And then I can't remember off the top of my head where I'm supposed to go. I believe you take a left, then a right, and then basically cruise down the northern road. Stop it, stop. Stop at stop signs, use your blinkers. Um, we did a bad job of placing speed limit signs and stuff, so basically yield. Oh, I want to go this way, don't I? They're all basically one ways. Then, I believe I want to take. Oh, Miss Matron. No, I didn't. Tesla's have good brakes. Thanks, Elon. So basically, we go over hill, danger sign, because oftentimes you get a little bit of air when you come off this. Yep, just a little bit. Um, usually if you're in a Lamborghini or a Ferrari or whatever, um, usually you'll get a lot of air, but here it is. So, <sighs> this is hard to explain. We're just going to go and open up these garages with don't like to be opened half the time. I'm going to have to F1. Oh. I bet you saw it all. So base. I've said a lot of basically here. And it's not basic. It's actually complicated. So complicatedly. Um, we've got a snow thing. Where we've got a skid steer here which we are going to replace with the jcb we have to go pick that up at the shop we've got an older chevy um k 1030 i think it's a k yeah it's k30 so then we've got our international work star which we have to get it a new plow um, which has a salter on the back we've got a maverick which shouldn't be here um i'm gonna have to, i'm not you know what the maverick can stay here and then we've got um this thing which i have a hard time explaining it's got a um snow plope snow blower on the front and then we've got the salt on the back now i have to why was that so easy to close so now we actually have to go pick up our skid steer back at the shop and then there's one other thing you have to pick up which was delivered a little bit late, um, but I've actually got a good use for it, so we need to deliver the one thing somewhere, but we also need to deliver the bobcat somewhere, and so, oh, this, uh, you guys don't know it yet, but this is going to be so jinky, you might know it if you did already watch the video or you skipped ahead, so, Go down here, we take a left up here, and then we go to the shop. We're going way too fast, but. And then, eject. So, our bobcat's in the back. That's the thing which I plan to take the bobcat on, which is a giant crane. Here's the bob, I mean, I call it a bobcat, but realistically it is a skid steer it's just since bobcat's a name brand I'll, i just call it a bobcat and most other people do oh i put it in the boom so we're just gonna put it right here hop inside of the crane so now I should be able to just pick it up it's actually Whoa. Okay, and now, how do I put on? It's hard to. Now I need to select the. I believe that's it. Now, make sure it's on the skid steer. Now, L. And we've got it. So, it's going to be a little janky trying to get it out of the building. And we can't have our um, supports up 
steps, so that's going to be annoying. But now we can lift it up. You know what? We have a weight on the back of it. Okay, let's put those out while we're flinging it around. Okay. Now we'll just lower the bobcat as like a counterweight. Lift it up a little because we still want it to be hovering. And get rid of our support. How is this working? Okay, we're gonna want it a little higher. Try not to tip the whole thing over. My hand is on X right now in case I need to put out our supports. It's very complicated for just taking a skid steer to a, um... Oh shoot, do I, I, I can't see it in my rear view mirror. So this is what we're gonna do. Okay. So if I put it over here, I can kind of see it in my rear view mirror, so we should be good. I, it's only going 12, isn't it? It's supposed to go 49 mile an hour, but I think because of the bobcat and the big weight on the back, I think it's only going to go like 13. You know, what happens if we're just going to be really weird and just... That's what's going to happen. Wait. If we... The bobcat isn't that heavy. I know it. You know what? What happens if we just... I don't know, fling it up in the air like this. And then can we make it go super high? Okay, now super high. Oh, that was a little too fast. Like so, until it doesn't go any higher. I don't believe I can see this in my rear view mirror anymore, but... Yep, that's as high as it's going to go. Now what happens if I get rid of the supports? No. Okay, we can keep it up there, I think, hopefully. Oh, it's going to tip over. Actually, I can still see it. You can kind of see the shadow of it. Ooh, that's high up. And what happens if I just... I probably shouldn't be doing this while we're driving, but... No, supports. Okay. I can't take corners too fast because it will knock it over. I feel like I'm driving... Si Ooh. So, you know what? I'll actually, like... Can I counterweight it? Oh, I can't counterweight it! Oh, no. Too much, too much support. Okay, we're good. Now we continue to go. I'm making this way more complicated than it should be. I could just drive home in the SUV, hook it up to the little box trailer, and then pick up the bobcat. But I decide to suspend it 30 feet, in, not, not even 30 feet, like two stories in the air. I wish we could go faster. That would be nice. Why is the... Why when I zoom out is the... It's actually kind of cool watching the exhaust get pixely. Wait, is that the exhaust? How have I not, like, caps... No, that's the wrong word. How have I not tipped over? You know, capsized. Why not? I drive like this, I can kind of see. So let's just. Uh oh. Oh no. No. Okay. But, anyways, that is going to wrap it up for this episode. If you guys enjoyed, please consider liking and subscribing. And that's all for now. GTG.
signing off.